Why are there so many wires? This is like worse than the first Apollo mission. Somebody please send help. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It is now the next day. And today is the day we're gonna get this motor out. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to keep following along on this journey. But for now, let's start on this beast. So if we're gonna put it up, get out some, some stuff. <laughs> All right, so real quick, we're gonna yank the axles just because it's super easy right now without the transmission and being in there. And just kind of check out anything else from underneath that might need to be disconnected. Um, and then the rest of it should be from the top. So let's do this. Let's get this big old 19 millimeter on here. That's not gonna work. No. And I anticipated this. So what we're gonna do here is bring out the V8 gun in, you know, it's just the V8 gun. Should really call it the V10 gun because of this project. Woo, no way. Not yet at least. Hold on, we gotta get the air compressor powered up. We'll bring you guys in closer to get a better view of this. Yeah, this is a uh, inch drive, I believe, or three quarter inch or something. Three-fourths, yeah, three-quarter inch impact gun. Look at that. Bring it down to three-eighths. And... And what is wrong with this thing? Am I missing something here? And there's usually nothing this V8 gun can't take off. Bizarre. Crazy. Those things must be in there on some serious foot pounds. Try the other side real quick. Maybe we'll have better luck there. So that didn't work out. That didn't work out at all. The V8 gun couldn't even do it. Just fine. Uh, we're gonna throw the wheels back on real quick. Lower it down and. Uh, good old pry bar. So as you can see here, we have Snap-on's latest setup on how to remove bolts from axles. This is a super nice half inch Harbor Freight brand tool with the beautiful part of a jack right here. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Snap-on wishes they had stuff that cool. So we're going to try this really quick, see how this goes. Just hold it in there and... <clears throat> wow! That is on there. I'm straight standing on it. Is this a reverse red thing? Gosh, I really hope not. Wouldn't that be something, huh? All right. 
Wow. Wow. Oh, sorry. You know, just trying to get in my gym workout too. But they came out. That was probably one of the hardest axle nuts or bolts or whatever you want to call it. Like I said, they call things weird things. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, totally tough, man. That didn't even look like there was any Loctite on it. it whatever, man. Whatever. She is fine. So we got axles out. Um, what else do we have from this beast? Let's check it out. So we have coolant undone. Almost all of it. There's still one more. This drive line needs to come off. It is unbolted. So I just need to kind of whack it with a mallet or something to get that off. Um, we have some lines over here that are free. And a couple of lines right here. I need to come off for oil. And that's it, from the bottom side at least. Everything else would be from the top. So, what we got here? Let me get a little Mally mat, Mally, Mally mallet. Come on, bro. Come off, man. Come off, man. Dude, I crushed one of the coolant pipe ends over here. But that's okay. It's aluminum. It will uncrush at my command. All right, all right. So we got everything disconnected from the bottom side, as far as I can tell. We got the drive line out over here. Got the coolant lines taken out. Hey, won't you focus there, buddy? So, these are the two main coolant lines right here. There's a couple little, probably goes up like heater core and that kind of stuff. This is what I did to it. You see that? I totally mangled it up, but good thing aluminum bends pretty easy, so we should be able to save that. Um, right now we are like totally disconnected from anything on the body of the car. The last little coolant lines over here. Here's where the thermostat housing is. Um, it's a little clustered right in this area. So that's fun. Here is the alternator. Got the power cable from the battery out. Um, there's a shifter still kind of chilling over there. Should we'll probably get that out here soon. Uh, we're probably gonna leave it actually until the motor's up and out. Just leave it there. But everything seems to, I mean, I even took out the bolt for that holding the motor mount on both sides. So, motor mounts. So we're all disconnected from over here. Um, now, let's go up top and take apart all of the wiring harness all the plugs up there, all that stuff. And then we should be able to lift the motor up and out. So let's do it. All right, all right. So here we have the wire harness. So in this perfect time, we need a handy dandy flathead screwdriver. No, not a Phillips, a flathead. Just kind of pop off the harness everywhere that we can see it being it's a little stuff. So real quick, we are going to remove this big bar out of here because that guy is in our way.
So, got almost everything out. Um, everything's done from the sides. The only thing really left is the harness where it hooks up to the ECUs on the side. And then there's like two of these little, honestly, I, they look like little airline, like little vacuum lines, but they're not. I'm sure they have like a couple wires in them um, that just kind of go down into the quarters. So looks like I don't have to um, remove the quarter panels, which is cool. Knock on uh, whatever that is. Uh, metal. So, <clears throat> yeah, once we get those disconnected on the sides, I have to jump inside and disconnect, you know, wherever the little, there's pretty thin, it's not very thick, but a little bit of the harness goes inside the firewall, obviously behind the two seats where all the computers are. So, we're gonna jump in there after, disconnect it, and it should come out. I mean, this thing is like, it's like rocking. I mean, it, Honestly, uh, unbolting it from the motor mounts, I think. Probably should have done that last, but that's okay. I don't think it's doing, it's not hurting it anywhere. It's just really rocky. Look at that. So, all right, let's do this. Let's grab these ECUs out and uh, keep moving. All right, guys, so finally, the last step. Literally, just take this guy out. So. It took me a while to get the ECUs out. Um, luckily, the harness was actually pretty contained to the engine, so a lot of it just is still on it, which is great, because this motor is actually gonna go put for sale through an auto wrecker buddy of mine. I'll throw their company in the link description below. Um, if you want this or know someone that might want it, 37,000 miles, snag it up. But come on over and check out the harness through the firewall here if you look through it just right in there got to get these guys through the through the hole looks kind of like a cluster at the moment but it's just that corner right there with stuff so we're just going to pull that stuff out that's it that wasn't hard at all whatsoever not at all i am it's just a warm up, you know? I mean, we can break this thing down and probably never put it back together. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, all I'm gonna say is that, all I'm gonna say is I'm glad the other one is all put together right now. Try to take it out in as much of a one piece as possible, for sure. But real quick, we're gonna pop off these shocks right here for the back window and get this motor out. Love these things. All right. All right. Can you look underneath and see if it clears there? Sorry, guys. I'm getting a little help from my niece. Yeah. <laughs> Here you go. <clears throat> now we're gonna pull it back. The whole thing. Yeah. Oh yeah. There you go. Just like that. Just like that. Okay, we're gonna stop it right there for a second. I'm gonna reconnect these guys. Whoo, perfect. Look at that. beauty right here check it out coming right out look at that there you go all right so that was super easy definitely i mean check out that engine bay it is empty should probably take this time to maybe clean it out a little bit but that looks awesome that is great. So it is completely out. This motor will be sold exactly how you see it. Um, yeah, like I said, I'll put the description in the below in the comments over there by the comments for the company that's going to sell it. But thank you for watching. Next video will be in a few days since we're we're stuck at home with COVID. 
we will keep on moving on. Thanks, guys. See you later.